Welcome to a round two match in the AOD Gaming Tournament with In The Red. It is Critical Mads playing under the name Relentless In The Red, yes indeed, versus Danku In The Teal, Cyan, and as GDI and Relentless, or like Critical Mads I should say, were also GDI I believe. Normally they are GDI, yes they are GDI indeed. Right, so this is once again a best of five, and I need to do a, uh, that is correct, color toggle, there. Alright, so, Grenadier is going out, minigunners and Grenadiers to scout, alright, and first little, little officer is out there, what is, there are two over here for Denku. Because, of course, Critical Mads went to the middle, which should give them some better, like, late game eco. Because they do, of course, have the middle field, which later on would be the contested field and all that. And, of course, it's just further away for Denku in general. Whereas they started with, like, a very small field and then these two refineries will become less efficient later on in the match. Or, like, in the game. Where is this one or these two will probably stay efficient longer because they're closer to like big Tiberium fields. Right. And who with a little bit more cash in the bank in terms of eco, they are like pretty much neck and neck. Yeah, there's like 200, 300 between them. Even though, of course, uh, Critical Mads had a later start, they did in fact catch up with the refineries. Having four versus three right now. So their current eco should also be better. Denku now also going into the middle field. And over here scouting just for critical mats. Alright. Grenadier will go down. And that means that their scouting is pretty good. Not amazing. Denku scouting not exactly great. Although like well, pretty do good as well. But not as good I would say. Down here, a little Grenadier, not really something we want to worry about. And six refineries, no weapons factory yet, that is quite greedy. But it's of course a GDI versus GDI match, so it's probably like not a big deal, I would say. And Denku now also with five refineries, so Eco will be good on both sides, but better for Critical Mad. Already, of course, with six refineries. Except for the fact that it's seven, because I can't count. Right. And over here, Grenadiers just going down. All right. Uh, like, kill death ratio, KD, attrition, all that good stuff. Pretty good for criti critical math right now. 16 to 4. And not actually getting, like, well, still having like a 2-1 to one KD, so that's good. Uh, power power is like 69 plus for Denku, so power plant doesn't matter all that much. And I'm a little bit surprised we don't see any weapon factory yet. But of course, like Grenadiers being very strong, so yeah. I think it would be good just to have them. And oh, Orca is not dead. But it was scouted. Uh, but again, I, yeah, I think Weapons Factory would be good. Especially with the amount of eco of Critical Mats has for, has, for instance. I think so. But Grenadiers being close by, they can quite easily snipe something. So I do understand, like, just the damage output on Grenadiers for their cost is amazing. So it's not actually that bad. Critical mats, don't mind the color, with like 3000 ish ahead in eco. And I should have had that up longer. There you go, you can see it once again. And here, refinery should have really realistically gone down, but it won't, at least not yet. And he. Construction Yacht, it should easily stay up, like, only like 50% damage, like, Orcas, what are you doing? 
Oh well, and it did go down in the end, but probably took a little bit longer than necessary. Because had Critical Mass pulled a couple more Grenadiers over, it would have gone down faster. Not sure if the officer went down in this case. And over here, once again going for power, but more than 100 power left for Denku, so not a big deal if it go does go down, except for the fact that Snipe with the Grenadiers. Yep, uh, so that means, sure, they still have 80 power left over. They can't lose another power plant. Unless they sell the communication center, but hey, that loses you your minimap. Over here, Grenadiers will run away because they're scared of a big ball of Grenadiers. And might be able to do a little bit of damage, but not a big deal. Over now, there though. Uh, power plant does go down, which means that communication center has to be sold because it's offline anyways, the minimap. At minus 21 power, so you would be get to like positive power again if you sell it and if you sell it should really be a when you sell it but oh well more grenadiers moving in here for denku but it probably is too late and critical mad indeed takes it game one goes to critical mads on to four pools between denku in the teal once again this is once again in the red, it is relentless, so critical mads once again in a, a GDI a mirror. Maybe that's a little bit sad to see just mirror matches right now, but oh well. It's fine. GDI versus GDI, alright. Both with barracks, once again, critical mads moving their construction yard. In this case, I uh, do I agree with it? I mean, I don't disagree with it. However, your starting Tiberium field is quite large. So, yes, your like future eco would be a little bit better. But get it, going like a refinery behind in the early game, I would say is probably worse. The, On the other hand, the, the very nice thing about this is, of course, a very secure construction yard. Can't easily be sniped by Orcas or or tanks or grenadiers just because of the location there is a benefit there but I don't know if that's big enough to like go that far south because well by now like 600 700 ish behind in eco harvested and all right four refineries over there and we've got three over here because, well, still one behind. There is the fourth. And Grenadiers in the middle of the map just shooting or like throwing grenades at each other. All right. Currently going one to one in terms of KD. And what are we going for next, guys? I kind of... Oh yeah, that's right. Denku is actually in low power by 25. Now 50 by. Anyways, uh, yeah, well, fifth refinery, then now power plant after that would make the most sense. You do have the cash for it, so... Don't know what else you would be building. Alright, there it is, indeed. And on the other side, also five refineries for critical mats. Alright. Second little barracks out on that side, and over here we do also have a second one. But that one was up for like quite a long time, so army could have been a lot better for critical meds. Possibly a little bit of a sniping force over here, but mini gunners mainly. So yeah, they do deal quite decent DPS, but not as good as grenadiers could. And middle of the map though, this is a lot more scary. However, it is also highly volatile. Grenadiers, yeah, they just explode, so watch out. Good army control is needed over there. Sending just a couple into the construction yard or like refinery does make sense. But watch out because possibly get run over. No, you won't. Not yet at least. Little bit there. Alright, there it goes. And the refinery does not go down. 
Over here, they are just like stationary. They're not moving. They sit there. It's fine. And by now. That's two, that's five, that's seven. And on this side, it is a whole bunch more, as in that's probably eight. Yes. Yes, that is probably eight. So, what are we going to do next, guys? Just having a couple of grenadiers throw grenades at each other once again. Maybe trying to snipe a refinery over here, but we'll be partially stopped by singular grenadiers. A little bit of micro required for Denku. But Critical Mad wasn't really able to take advantage of the fact that Denku had to focus on this. He is now once again going for multiple ore cars. Three of them have been built already. Going to possibly see a fourth one after that. And in the meantime, Grenadier Force moving up, but not too far up. And I'm going to ask you to subscribe to the channel because, hey, if I don't, people just don't click the button even though they know it's there. And, alright, that's actually a little bit surprising, though it really shouldn't be. It's five orcas, because five orcas is way more likely to snipe anything. Hello. And, alright, Denku just takes it, takes the loss, and they just sell it off the construction yard. Netting them a nice two and a half thousand dollars. But, okay, and they do have War Factory. That's quite nice. Just because big clumps of grenadiers could be run over now. By medium tanks and ooh, snipe falls, that's very annoying. Over here, they get cleaned up. Refinery gets sold off. No, like half the went down. But, once again, a sniping force with orcas. Now in minus 71 power, already giving it up a little quick, I feel. Getting $150 in your position really isn't the most important. And... Tenku gives up number game number two. Just having the orcas waste a little bit more of their ammo would have probably been better, but hey... They were already quite far behind, and they just ended up giving up. On to game number three. Denku Relentless on Claustrophobia 1v1. Denku in the blue. And Critical Meds Relentless in the red. Once again in a GDI mirror. And I have to toggle. And that should be fine. Right. Grenade is starting out to scout, and over here, minigunners, and probably after that, Grenade is to scout. And as the name already tells you, it's claustrophobia, so it's a claustrophobic map. Choke points here, there, everywhere. And probably a little bit lucky we don't have, like, not, just because these players, like GDI, tend to not build their weapons factory as early. So, locking themselves out of places is less likely. And over here, alright, just a couple of units hitting each other, no big deal. 1 to 0, no in KD, now 1 to 1, wow! Right, um, this time around, Critical Mad's not actually moving the construction yard. Now, still slightly behind in Eco, just because they went for like, further refinery down here. Which is a little, like, further away, so more difficult to pull off fast enough. As in, like, it's difficult to keep up the economy of the enemy if they're perfect, then you just can't. Because it would be physically impossible. Unless you're cheating. And over here, just Grenadiers getting damaged, no a big deal. And another refinery out for Denku. Critical mats going both north and southwards. I would say better than Denku is, however, uh, not a perfectly efficient uh, refinery. Not that they really could make it more efficient right now. They would first need another silo or something like it. But yeah, I mean, it's fine. Late game it could even be more efficient because you would have to go to this field or even the middle. But hey, that wouldn't be too important. So who cares about that? Right, 
And so they haven't really expanded all that much further. And both players just expanding their eco, just getting decent engagement with grenadiers, making the enemy like not wanting to push in and over here just because of how claustrophobic the map is. Having a big ball of grenadiers and trying to snipe anything is a lot more difficult. Because, well, having just a couple of grenadiers in a choke point like this, throw a couple of grenades at the big ball and they all die. Because of AoE and just, like, plenty fire, I guess, like explosions. Death AoE. Something like that. Not really sure how you want to say that, but yeah. Just because of that, sneaking in anywhere is a lot more difficult here. Just a couple of grenadiers would be able to hold off, well, probably two or three times a ball, two to three times its size. Unless it's microed well by the enemy. Well, but then it would always be possible, no matter the map, of course. Right. Grenadier is getting pretty de even shots off still, even KD, which is probably also like almost even in attrition. And now, Humvee Light Scout does mean that Critical Mats has got their weapons for Kree up. Just going into Scout, which could spell doom for Dengu. If Critical Mats once again tries to go for an Orca push, they've got the scouting, they definitely could. Not sure what they sold off there, probably a communication center. Looking at the number of grenadiers that or like uh, Many gunners that came out, it must have been something quite expensive. So I do think a like communication center would be quite likely. Denku's scouting is not great at all, and it most likely was because otherwise we wouldn't be able to see APCs. Right. Their scouting isn't great, so communication center really doesn't give them all that much. But it's fine. Also, like, do you have anything in there? No, you don't. Alright. Not sure if engineer in APC is allowed. It's not in a transport. But I'm not sure if that's like specifically transport helicopter or is it like just general transportation vehicles. I am not sure about it, but I don't think it's going to matter anyways. Since there was nothing in it. Right. A couple more APCs just sitting there. They can run over infantry and they're quite good against infantry with the like machine gun that's on top. So just having a lot of grenadiers and mini gunners and all that is not exactly amazing right now. Facing off against medium tank which normally would be countered by infantry but it can run over so you have to keep an eye on your infantry. And I'm not sure what the APC is doing this time. Although well it is do dealing a little bit of damage but sure. I guess you are just cleaning up all of these infantry units all on your own. And ah, this time around it did have a load. It had a couple of grenadiers in there, which will in fact just destroy or mm, force a sell off on the construction yard. It is in fact a destruction. And although Denko does have a weapons factory war factory out, it's not gonna matter. Not even the advanced guard tower or the tanks could save Denku. So, well done that you made it this far into the video. Consider watching the video in your lower left, but that's all I'm going to have for you today, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.